I joined RNA when I became a religion reporter about three or four years ago at the Miami Herald. And I had no idea what I was doing. And so I found this great group that uh, I saw had all these resources for me. People like mentors, um, a style book, materials, scholarships for courses and colleges. So I, I immediately grabbed the opportunity to join and learn from the group. I joined RNA a long time ago. I think I was a reporter at the newspapers in Syracuse, New York, which would have been in the 1980s. I was covering religion and was the one of the only people in that area doing that and wanted to be in a group of like-minded folks who were dealing with the same beat. I've never regretted it. I have been a part of the group ever since and have been on the beat in different newspapers um, since then. And it is um, sort of a fellowship of people who understand each other when almost no one else does. Either people who are religious don't understand our role in writing about all sorts of different religions, sometimes they don't understand that, or people who aren't religious wonder why in the world we're covering this beat and not realizing that it is a fascinating beat and um, it's not just about people's beliefs, but it's about how religion intersects with all aspects of life, whether it's religion in the environment, religion in government, religion in politics, religion in food, religion in sports. I could go on and on and on. And um, so it's really a never-ending, um, very exciting beat. Well, I like it because it, it's a support group for people that have the same uh, you know, stresses and challenges that you know that I have as a journalist covering religion. It also has a uh, uh, a high level of programming. So, you know, I prov I have better content in my writing and just better uh, anticipation of what I'm going to need. You know, in uh, in my job. If you want to cover religion and you want to cover it well, you need to not only know uh, how to put a sentence together, but you need to know uh, about the beat and what's behind the beat. Religion is. I think m more than most beats, especially, uh, it's especially important to understand nuance and context and even history. And uh, if you want to do that, RNA is the place to do it because you get the resources here to cover your stories better, to, to write about them more uh, coherently and, and with the kind of context and background that you need to really understand this really complicated subject. But even more than that, I think it's the collaborative nature of this group uh, that is what makes this place different and special. And uh, it's, yeah, you go home with story ideas and with quotes and with you know, some books and all that, and that's great. But uh, really what, pe what people look forward to is coming back and seeing other people who are doing the exact same things that you're doing and they know the struggles of this beat and they know uh, how challenging it can be. And they're not only here to, I mean, they're, they're not here to commiserate with you about that, but to help you through that. I joined RNA in 1996. Um, they were meeting in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And it was a phenomenal experience for me. Um, I had just started reporting on religion for the News and Observer in Raleigh, North Carolina. And I came to the conference and met such incredible people from all news from newspapers across the country, people who I looked up to and read their stuff regularly. And it was so great to uh, be able to interact with them and to learn from panelists, uh, to listen to sit in on the sessions. And I immediately felt like I had found a family. Uh, like most people, I joined RNA when I was first getting on the religion beat in 1990, and I didn't know anything, and many would say I still don't know anything, but I think I know a little bit more thanks to um, the mentoring that I got at RNA and, and early on. And you know, I hope to be able to, at this point, give back a bit of that to new members. Yeah, I think, I think that religion, journalism in the format that most people in RNA do is really needed because there's so much misunderstanding about religion and journalism really provides a independent way to unpack that understand that in society without you know with the standard of trying to you know get at the truth I think in a lot of ways RNA is the last best defense of the beat uh, in in the country today I think 
what I always tell people is that if you want to understand America, you have to understand religion. And if you want to understand religion, and if you're a journalist and you want to write about religion, you have to come to RNA and you have to use its resources. So it's really helped me learn how to write about religion, how to best write about religion, who to talk to about religion when I'm covering different stories, and learn what other people in the field are doing and, and, and get their insight to help me do what I do better.